Hello, today I'm going to show you how to crop photos in Adobe Illustrator. Let's go back to Photoshop for a second. While Photoshop has a special tool designated to crop images, Illustrator doesn't. So technically you can't crop images in Illustrator. However, you can mask out the area that you don't want. There is a few ways you can do it. First, let's place a photo into Illustrator. Go to File, Place, find your photo and click Place. The easiest way to do it is to select the Mask button from the top toolbar. Now you can edit the clipping path or the contents by switching between those two buttons. Or you can use the Layers panel. When you open the sublayers, you can see the layer with the clipping path and the layer with the linked image. Before you do any clipping, it is a good idea to lock the photo layer, so it won't shift during this process. Now select the clipping path layer and you are ready to crop this image. First go to the direct selection tool. Right now all the anchor points are selected. Click away from the photo and drag a box around the top right anchor point to select it. If you look carefully, you can notice that the selected anchor point is filled with the solid color, whereas not selected anchor points have empty space in the center. To crop this image on the right side, first select both anchor points by dragging a box around them. Then click on this anchor point, hold and drag. While dragging your mouse, press the shift key as well to constrain it. Now release the mouse and then release the key. Let's do the same with the top side. Select both anchor points, but now instead of holding and dragging your mouse, press the down arrow key on your keyboard several times. And do the same with the other side. You can also crop your image by moving one anchor point at a time, which will give you a slightly different look. Another way to crop an image, or I should say mask it, is by drawing a mask area on top of your photo. You can use any of these preset shapes available, or you can draw your own. I'm going to draw a mask that will look like a heart. Next, you want to position it over the area that you want to show. If you like, you could use Transparency panel to change the opacity of your mask. Whatever the mask covers, it will be revealed, and whatever is not covered, it will be hidden. Now, make sure your photo layer is unlocked. Using the Selection tool, select the mask and the photo. Now go to Object, Clipping Mask and choose Make. And here is your cropped image. If you want to make any changes, like move the photo within the heart or change the shape of the heart, you can still do it. Either use the Layers panel or the top bar icons. Choose the Edit Contents to reposition the photo or choose the Edit Clipping Path to change the shape of the heart. And like before, first lock the photo layer, go to the Direct Selection tool and select the anchor point that you want to adjust. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.